we are saying is give peace a chance. Who oh, we are saying is give peace a chance. That seems so hard to do. All we are saying is give peace a chance. Hey, y'all. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this mental house with me, your host. Y'all know King Abdullah of Jordan warns. Anthony Blinken, that there will be catastrophic ramifications in Israel if it keeps on dropping bombs on Gaza. Mm. Mm. (sighs) You know, and what kills me about this whole conversation is this is ethnic cleansing. And there are some people that look like me who thinks that ethnic cleansing doesn't come in all types of flavors. They have different tactics for ethnic cleansing of a people. Sadly, people that look like me are so uninformed to the situation that they will actually say something as crazy as, it's not your fight. Unlike them, I believe that we in America, the brown folks, the ones who need a qualified immunity for the police to stop killing us, those of us who need a whole overhaul of the justice system so we can be naturalized, real citizens, that we can experience in the, the full birthright of being an American. Those of y'all who don't see your fight over here as a fight <laughs> that resists ethnic cleansing then you I don't I don't know how to convince you when you look at a George Floyd when you look at a Amar Aubrey when you look at an Emmett Till when you look at a Malcolm X when you look at a Martin Luther King the list goes on and on and on and on I Fred Hampton Don't you know that at one point the Panthers were looked at just like Hamas? I mean, come on up in here, somebody that's old enough to to make a comment about what's going on in the state of our world and be honest about it. Racism. Racism is the most destructive, destructive, component that divides and kills the human family. For anybody to think that the Palestinians need to be removed from the face of the earth and they in their own homeland are the same kind of people who look at the Native American and discredit, disrespect, And have a amnesia to the holy ground that they're standing on, and who who was here first? Just like the reservations that they're on here, they have open prisons in Israel.
as a human family, we about to destroy ourselves. And everybody is just picking a side. And that to me, that to me, is the weakest part of humanity. The ego and the inability to see your neighbor as you see yourself. Anthony Blinken embarked on his fourth visit to the Middle East since October 7th. So in the whirlwind tour, he met with leaders from a large handful of Arab nations where he's been advocating for tampering, tam- tamping down on uh, uh, fighting, uh, uh, tamping down the fighting and getting aid to Gaza. After speed round visits to Greece, Turkey, Jordan, and Qatar, Blinken will continue to use, um, take his visits later this week with stops in the UAE, Saudi Arabia, the West Bank, Egypt, and Israel before heading back to Washington. In Doha, Qatar on Sunday, America's top diplomat said during a press conference he gave alongside the Prime Minister of Qatar The U.S. rejects the plan exposed by a handful of Israeli ministers to resettle Palestinian civilians elsewhere after the war. This ain't no war. This ain't no war. I mean, yeah, I said no one wins in war, but this is a massacre. He added that foreign aid to Gaza must immediately be increased, but mentioned that there have been consistent issues when it comes to getting aid packages delivered to struggling Palestinians. The handful of leaders who include King Abdallah and Foreign Minister Ayman Safadi Safadi of Jordan and Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani of Qatar are hoping to come together to effectively contain this war, which could consume the region if improperly addressed. I mean, all around Jerusalem. I mean, this this is this this is heavier than a lot of y'all want to give, you know, credence to, because we have so many problems. Because we have so many problems all over the world. In fact, let me say this, and I and I mean this from the bottom of my heart. If Ados people, at least the ones that are here in America, would just pick a side because we're we're a monolith. I mean, we all don't feel that each. Um, issue is our issue some of us don't know what food stamps are some of us do some of us been raised with them some of us haven't so you gotta pick a side you gotta pick a cause you gotta pick something that reflects how you brought up how you think it's a whole bunch of y'all right now in georgia in spite of what other things you have on, y'all should be trying to get Jackie Johnson's ass in that damn court. There's no way in the world we should be worrying about what entertainer did what, who did who, and she's running around here being a gatekeeper to justice. And not giving a damn if black people are shot down on the streets. She'll cover up for it. And then you have a judicial system who is continuously, continuously dragging their feet on bringing her to some kind of justice. Where are y'all? Each state got its own supply of problems dealing with these races. Each state 
got his own supply of problems. What we going to do? What are we going to do? Because it's very serious. Very serious. <laughs> anyway, there's a handful of leaders. Okay. I mean, just, just a handful now. <coughs> who, who really are hoping that they can effectively contain this war. You know, and at least put an end to this bombing. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Which is going to consume the region if improperly addressed. At the press conference, um, you know, another leader conveyed the country's desire for stability. That's all, which is normal. <coughs> he added that Gaza, which he referred to um, as occupied territory, needs to be under the leadership of the Palestinians. But the foremost goal at the moment is to prevent the spread of violence in the region. Can y'all imagine what would happen if the European over here would have to get back and take back, give back, whether by hook, crook, or fork, the land that they stole from the Native Americans, from us, from people who were here before, the natives of this land? Can you imagine the same madness and see yourself as being really occupied by Europeans who really, if you look at their history, wherever they are on the planet, they're not a native no place. Everywhere that they went, they've raped and robbed and stole from the people and implanted themselves there. This ain't me saying something because I don't like them. This is a history that can no longer be denied. And it's got to be dealt with. It's just got to be dealt with. Wherever you've gone, you've caused mischief and massacre across the diaspora. And a lot of people don't want the world to end. Because y'all don't seem to be able to get along with anybody. Anybody. And then now talking about this land belongs to you. Come on. That's why you can't do DNA over there. Because you will find out that there's no kinship to you and the land over there. None. For all you Israelis, I'm not, you Zionists, there is no, listen, okay, I'm getting a little upset because I'm so sick of the lies. I'm like Cat Williams. I'm tired of the damn lies. Wherever you are on the planet, you are not a native anywhere. And if so, if somebody will relegate you back to where you belong, where are you going to go? Back to the caves? Back to the caves of Europe? It's no different. These Israelis are nothing but a, a, a Polish and German and, and a... a, 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 a just people came down from the Caucasus Mountains, okay? They don't really have a rightful ownership to that land. And then they got to be over nerve to be over there raising hell and raising the muck and killing the people who have actual ownership to the land. What's the difference between that and what's going on everywhere that brown and black people live? Twenty twenty four. 
truth is out. But we want love to try to conquer all the hate. I don't want to feel like it's too late. Because I truly do believe that love is bigger than hate. But hate can get some stuff moving now. But love is the strongest. It's the strongest. It's the strongest thing that we have. And as long as we don't see people as human beings and equal to us, we can never get to that um that place where war is an afterthought. We just won't be able to get to it. So I'm going to get off my soapbox. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share the channel. I'll see you in the next video.